yes, the the yes, so so insider. Hey, what's up? This is Ian in Fukuoka, Japan, and in this video, I'm going to talk about uh, why why take a TIFA course and the two basic reasons why you may want to take a TIFA course, a TESFA course, or CELTA course. So I'm going to walk around uh, in this video and talk a bit. So why take a course? First off, you don't necessarily have to take a course. Uh, you may have read that you have to take a course, but I guess you got to check on who's telling you what. So it depends on the country, it depends on the school. That's the bottom line. So why take a TEFL course? So the two basic reasons are, number one, to get a certificate that may help you get a job, or it may be required, may. Again, depending on the school. Number two, to learn. Okay, so that's gonna help you do your job. Getting a job is a short-term uh, thing. It happens one time, you get a job, and then, okay. Most of you are probably in that stage, I'm getting, guessing. You can let me know in the comments below because I would like to know whether you already have a job or whether you're looking for a job. And if you already have a job, I would assume that your interest in taking a course would be to learn or improve your situation. Either way, I would love to know where you are. If you're looking for a course to learn or to get a job. Anyways, so if you, so take a course, to, so should you take a course to learn or should you take one to get a job or both or what? Uh, getting a job. So I told you it's not necessarily required. Now, is it going to help you get a better job or make more money? Most of the time, I'm going to say no. I've taught English in China, Korea, in tai Taiwan. I live in, living in Japan now. And I like this flow. I like those. Um, it's not going to make a difference most of the time. It's not going to help you get a better job. It's not going to, you're not going to make more money because of it. Probably not. It does depend on the school. Uh, like I said, there's some places that may require it. Like, for example, Epic Program in Korea. You could make more money if you have one. Um, but most of the time, you know, TEFL certification is like secondary to experience. Also secondary to something like a teaching license, all right? So most schools prefer teachers with experience, like you're gonna f soon find out or you already know. So yeah, so as far as making money, getting a better job, I think very unlikely that that's gonna happen. Though, again, it depends on the school, depends on the situation. Um, and why not? Uh, is it going to improve your resume? It's not going to hurt your resume. So anything related on your resume is going to, it's going to help. Um, although, you know, employers in Asia, like there's all kinds of factors. It's not just, it's not just black and white, like, you know, you're, someone looks at your resume and you have a you have a, a CELTA course and the next guy has an online course and uh, the next uh, guy has uh, no course whatsoever but maybe they look at the guy's course who has no certificate maybe he's a good-looking guy or maybe they talked with him on the phone and they liked him better it's not always so black and white that um, you know, you're not, you are not your resume. <laughs> That's, uh, I think Seth Godin said that. You're not a black and white piece of paper, you know? So, 
uh, to get a job, why take a course? Um, so we're, we're still on reason number one. So getting a job is just the beginning. Um, and the certificate, yeah. So what next? Number two, to learn. Okay, here I think you've got a bigger problem. I think this, this matters way more than getting a certificate to get a job. Like I said, that's a one-time thing. <coughs> Excuse me. It's a one-time transaction, basically. And um, it's the short term, right? So, and where you are right now, if you're home, that price seems like a big deal to you. Like, you're like, ah, you're probably anxious about going, going abroad. You're, you're nervous. You're scared. It's a new thing. You're going to a foreign country. Yeah, you're probably looking for security and all that. But, hey, security is an illusion. And you know what? Before you know it, you're going to have a job. And, um, yeah. And then you're going to have another problem. And that another problem is going to be teaching. It's not, it's not easy to teach. In my experience, it's difficult. You might be a natural teacher. You might be, uh, you might be lucky. You might be, uh, ah, it's a nice day to have a picnic by the river, huh? Doesn't that look nice? You might be a lucky, you might be a natural teacher, or for some strange reason, your job might be easy. Or, yeah, but, I think, man, for me, it was like, I think teaching was always a challenge in some sense, but the first year was way more difficult. I didn't know what I was doing, and so why take a course? The course I took, I thought it sucked for like comparing me or uh, preparing me to do my job. I, I spent a thousand bucks on that course and like, Actually, my dad spent a thousand bucks. I wouldn't have spent any money in the course. I just would have went. But um, my dad wanted me to take a course, so he paid for it. But I never thought it was very, uh, yeah, I don't know. Like, I learned, like, what do I remember from that course that I could use? I made, so if you look at my, uh, the, the core, uh, what, the channel? Look at my channel, and you look under the how-to videos, I made two videos from that course, two activities that I learned in the course. Um, and that just kind of goes to show you, like shows you how little I actually learned that was practical. Um, the other videos they have, they're how-to videos. They show you what to do. And that's like a major thing, uh, what, what you would need, like, I think, a good course is going to show you what to do in the classroom. It's not just about teaching you a bunch of theory and studying abstract, abstract concepts and grammar. All that stuff is like, yeah, pretty much useless most of the time. So, yeah, I don't know. Maybe you like that stuff. You want to study grammar. But I, as far as teaching goes, you don't like teach people a bunch of, uh, today, class, we're going to study the pres present continuous form of blah, blah. You don't. That's another language. Like, you teach them how to communicate. It's all, like, situational and, um, yeah, anyways. So, where's my point? Oh, to learn. So, there's, like, a problem. It's not just uh, TEFL courses. It's education. Like, you went to college, right? And we're in high school, and how many classes did you take that you just you totally forgot or were totally useless? For me, I think a class is like geometry, calculus, biology, pretty much any math class, probably after like seventh grade or something, they're useless, and all these classes really boring and like. I don't remember any of them. History? Like, what do you remember? Like, I don't know about you, but like, what? Like, 
Couldn't we have like studied more useful, practical uh, things in school sometimes? And yeah, so I think it's, uh, it's, it's similar. Like TEFL courses, most TEFL courses are trying to look like um, CELTA or follow the CELTA model in some sense. This is how I look at it. Yeah, so you take it with a grain of salt if you want, um, which is like run by or affiliated with a, the prestigious university and stuff. But yeah, I don't know. There's the real world and then there's the academic world. And the academic world should prepare you better to do, to do better in the real world. That's what I think. So anyways, so that's what I'm saying about there's a problem in education as far as like teaching you useful stuff and practical stuff. And it's the same with TEFL courses, you know. Uh, and my experience, you know, that online course I took, I remember anything from it. I just, it was just, I wasn't taking it to learn. I was just taking it to see, see what I'd get for 39 bucks. I had already created courses. I was basically doing a compare. Um, yeah, I don't know. So that's, that's pretty much, I think, all I have to say on this topic. Um, ESL Insider has basically what I'm, my goal with ESL Insider is to create the best possible way how to learn how to teach English, especially to kids. So, anyways, that's my take. I don't think I have any more thoughts on this topic. The topic is, what is the topic again here? Uh, oh, why take a TEFL course? So, I don't know. You want to learn or are you taking it for the for the job? If you're taking it for the job, number one, it's not always required. It might make your resume look a little better. Um, what else? Yeah, pretty much everything on that I covered already. And yeah, I think this is all I got to say for this video. I hope you have a good day and enjoy your life. Bye-bye.